Zoos have a tremendous um, uh, important role in the community. Um, our mission is education, conservation, and research and recreation. So here in the local area, uh, guests love to come to the zoo for a source of recreation, to be outside and active with their families. We have a great relationship with the um, Oklahoma Department of Wildlife, so we do some conservation work right here in our own backyard. Uh, we also participate in conservation projects all over the world from Sumatra uh, in Asia to Kenya in Africa. More importantly to me is uh, the, uh, the impact it makes on, on children's lives. I hear frequently from our guests and, and citizens that the zoo is very important to them. Uh, they like to come out here with their families and, and friends and, and enjoy being outside in nature and being active. People become more compassionate human beings when they visit the zoo. We have a duty uh, when we create a zoo to uh, take care of our animals in an ethical manner and provide them with the best care possible. Like us, animals have needs. They have medical needs. Um, we have animals that are born here at the zoo all the time and sometimes we need to give mom and infant supportive care. We have a very proactive veterinary program here. I've come across a lot of people that I've met in the community that didn't realize the zoo even had a veterinarian. We do teeth cleaning on lions. We do um, cardiac workups on gorillas. Uh, we have a, a full line of um, vaccinations we give many of our animals. And then all the way to emergency type procedures such as surgeries and stuff like that. We could start the day by looking at, you know, maybe a small frog and then we have to anesthetize a gorilla and then we might have to x-ray a flamingo. It's more than just treating uh, animals, giving them medicine, giving them pills, giving them shots. You know, things get sick suddenly, so you sometimes have to drop everything you're doing and throw away your scheduled plan for the day to take care of emergencies. Our veterinary staff is, is first rate. The Kirkpatrick family has done a wonderful job in providing us equipment over the years, but the, uh, the hospital facility itself is dated, it's small. Right now our current facility was built in the mid 80s. Um, technology has improved quite a bit in medicine since that time. Uh, we've really outgrown our current facility and there is actually a few things that we're really limited in doing um, and it kind of hinders us a little bit in, in providing the state of the art care that, that we know we can provide. It cannot keep up with the animals that we have here today. The uh, zoo has grown. The animals that we're caring for, their numbers have grown. Right now, we can't take certain animals to the hospital because they're too big, or we don't have the space or the equipment to be able to do that. The one we have really needs a lot of improvement. I mean, it's got all the basics there, but it could be so much more. And as our zoo has grown with more animals, we need a better hospital. Changes in technology, changes in how we do care for animals today. It is so, so important that we keep their health at its optimum level. And to do that, we need a good animal hospital here to help us either maintain their health, to help us prevent diseases, help us, if there is an injury, to help them with that. The facility they're currently operating in is 30 years old now, and it was a, a, an adequate facility at the time, but it no longer meets our needs. The new uh, Joan Kirkpatrick Animal Hospital isn't just something that uh, has been dreamt up. It's a, um, a long-term effort to improve um, the health of animals here at the zoo. The vet hospital uh, will be open so that the public can come and watch what we're doing. So we're very excited about being able to educate our visitors about the quality of care that we provide for the animals. Guests will be able to go behind the scenes and look at some of the procedures going on with their animals. So there might be a, a surgery going on with the tiger, uh, there might be work going on in our laboratory looking at some blood work or, or doing some uh, genetic analysis on our animals. Um, guests will also be able to view into our commissary where all of our animal diets are prepared. It will be a tremendous educational tool for kids and adults alike. It takes, I think, the um, Oklahoma City Zoo to a different level. We'll be able to elevate the level of care that we're providing. We lead by example. We've already done some amazing things with animals here at the zoo and this new facility will even provide more opportunities for us to do that. It is a wonderful project. I think anyone that loves animals, anyone that, uh, that, that wants to see the next generation of, of Oklahomans learn about what it take, takes to take care of exotic animals or really any animal uh, would want us to have a state-of-the-art hospital facility. If you make the commitment to have a zoo and have a nice one, you've got to take care of everything. 
and this new hospital where people are going to get a chance to see what actually happens inside the hospital is wonderful. It's going to be something we can all be very proud of. It'll be state of the art. It's a great opportunity. We are ensuring our animals um, that they're going to receive the best care possible and ensuring that we're going to remain one of the best zoological facilities in the country.